Hello, I'm going to tell you how to use green screen in iMovie 10.02. So lots of people are put off by green screen thinking it's going to be expensive or very difficult. Trust me, it's not. All my equipment came together at about £100. That included my stands for my lights, my expensive light bulbs that are very swish, and my umbrellas. Also the frame for my green screen and the green screen. You can also see there that my green screen is very, very wrinkled. It doesn't matter. I have my lights to sort of balance out the light, but actually I'm, I'm in a room with glass walls. There's a lot of natural light as well. Does not matter. Just film in front of the green screen using whatever you have. I use an iPad. Do not worry about the crinkles at all or the light being perfectly balanced. It doesn't really matter these, that much these days. So once you've filmed it, you're going to go into iMovie and firstly you're going to put in your background image. So I've chosen a tropical paradise. You're then going to select the image you want to go in there and drag it on top. At first, it's just normal. So you're going to go up and click adjust in the top right hand corner. And then you're going to select green screen from the drop down menu and it's instantly going to work. If your person is wearing a bit of green or a bit of blue, you might need to adjust the colour slightly, but Really, it kind of uh, works really, really well these days. It kind of picks up exactly what wants to go in the background, what wants to go in the foreground. So here you can see lovely Emily in front of a tropical island. You could use this for a whole load of things, for telling news stories with a news background. You could get students to narrate fantastic stories. You could get them to show photographs from the country they're from or take you on virtual field trips. So good luck using the green screen and enjoy.